Hi everyone, it's Jerry. I have a remarkable game to share with you. I'm not quite sure remarkable is the right term here. It's almost unbelievable what's happening with Chess AI. On the white end, Leela Queen Odds, playing against Grandmaster Mikolash Manik, 12 times Slovak Blitz Chess Champion. Now, I'm going to share this game with you in real time and provide some light comments throughout as I see it. It'll be the first time I'm viewing it in real time with you. Uh, I've cycled through it on my own briefly, and it's just amazing to see the type of pressure this AI is putting on a Grandmaster without a Queen. So let's kick this one off. Time controls here. 3 plus 2. Leela barely spends any time here. Uh, we see the clock times. Uh, a lot of early pawn moves here. So space invader pawns for Leela. Now you might think, well, if your opponent doesn't have a queen, I'm just going to go ahead and Find ways to trade, 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 and simplify the position. Well, easier said than done. Look at this. We're 11 moves in, and we have this monster pawn here, invasive pawn right next to the king. And this won't be the last we see of this pawn. It's going to go a little bit further. A case of opposite sides castles. Now, a typical strategy here would be to sacrifice some material to get an open line. So an open B file, for instance, and this is what we're seeing in this game. Leela has one a pawn, but black has some files now to work with. But watch, notice this construction here, this bishop not having a fun time. Uh, the structure here kills the bishop. And there's some nice coordination here between the knights, and right around the corner... We have this idea to pry open the H file. So if this knight is no longer around, there you go. We're going to get this break in here. Some control over the B4 square. No jump for this knight. The knight only has one forward move, but it's terrible. If the knight can't move, what is the queen doing? Okay, so some regrouping. Possible sacrifices here. There goes a knight. Here comes the H file now. Ready to be peeled open. This is going to be a target shortly. Leela has more time. Uh, <laughs> then the initial time, 3 minutes 34 seconds, 2 minutes 20 seconds here for Team Black, Grandmaster opponent. How to simplify, how to make things easy, got a stuck bishop. So this is a wild move coming up here. No recapture. So that one caught the Grandmaster off guard, certainly seems like it, into the tank here. Don't want to simplify too much. This knight is still stuck around here to provide some security for the king, I imagine. We have these pesky pawns that are still around. This pawn ready to drop. Possibilities for this. Check, follow up, checkmate right around the corner. Really <laughs> caught the Grandmaster off guard here. He's still in the tank. Biggest think of the game so far. Down to a minute 40. Okay, comes up with Rook takes Pawn. He's going to have to give that piece back. So, material imbalance, it's still a full queen, but hang on. When you trade, you're just giving up a full queen. Look at what the... Oh my, it's unbelievable what it has done to this queen. Also, there's this open file that White could work with. Uh, work with. Queen is ready to be tracked down any moment. Uh, we're going to be transitioning here shortly to a rook advantage still for the grandmaster but clock continues to chip away possibilities for some trades not allowing it so fast and look at this tricky move rook f1 don't take the pawn check king to the h file followed up with check and checkmate can't take with the king what's the try here Takes with the rook, targets this guy here. Follow up, we're going to have this fancy move. Not taking the material, that would simplify the position too much. The knight stays around. How to handle these two pesky pieces. The knight kicked back, pawn swiped, 
black is really close to trading knights, but hang on, if you trade knights, you're going to end up in a fork. So just weaseling around here, very scary. Under a minute now for the Grandmaster. Looking at rook e8, it's not quite mate, but it's close. Look at this stupid rook. <laughs> barely has a move. Has one, has two moves. King barely has... They're both competing for this F7 square. 35 seconds for black. A check flicked in. Only one move. This knight is going to do something dangerous shortly. If knight takes, there's pawn takes, rook here, rook here, and there's a skewer, and the rook's going to fall. Unbelievable. 30 seconds. Rook is hit. There's a fork nearby. Look at the pressure it's placing on him. 22 seconds. What are you supposed to do here? Maybe rook here. Uh, pick the wrong square. And this one's over. Grandmaster resigning right here. He's going to lose this rook now. The pressure got to him. <laughs> 21 seconds in the end. Uh, I looked at the evaluation at the end of this. It's going to be... Uh, it's calling it about zero, uh, the evaluation, but you could expect uh, this monster is going to go on to win in this uh, balanced material position when it started without a queen. Now, one final note here. I, I want to emphasize that this was not just some one-off game. This wasn't the only game they played. They played five games. Final score... 5 nothing. This is really remarkable. What are your thoughts here? Anyhow, feel free, as usual, to leave any feedback to this video in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed it, and maybe took a thing or two away. This is really remarkable stuff. That's all for now. Take care.